Hey everybody, this is Eric Worry, and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I wanted to follow up on yesterday's show on rewards and punishment and redemption when it comes to being a good person. What happens inside of that piece is you're going to have trust, and with trust, more people will look at the opportunity. More people will at least give it a shot, right? And if you haven't lived as connected of a life up until the time that you get involved in network marketing, you have an opportunity to connect again and build that trust. Trust comes from the relationships. The second piece of it, sometimes people, maybe they're not super connected with everybody in the world, but they have respect of other people because they've had success in business or um, they've made money before. Other people know that they've made money before. They've, uh, ha they have a little bit of a resume, so people borrow the fact, hey, well, they're involved. If I can get close to them, I can make some money. And, and, and it's the same kind of reward and punishment type of a equation. If you've made money before and if you've had success before and if, if you um, have, uh, I don't know, helped other people make money or you've, you've made money yourself before, more people are going to tend to want to get involved with you at the beginning. If you haven't made money, let's say you've been a giving person, amazing, you're connected with other people, they, they trust you, they love you, but they don't necessarily respect you. You might be the life of the party, but they're not sure they can make money with you. You might be the most giving person in the world, but they're not sure that maybe they're willing to follow you. In other words, you haven't exhibited that leadership before. So that's another thing that's a little bit of a fake out because when I first got started, I wasn't really connected with other people. I mean, I, I was friends with other people. So I was a little bit punished on the one side and then I was punished on the other side because I hadn't had success. I was probably punished harder on the side where I hadn't had success. I had 18 jobs before I was 22 years old and I paid a price for that. Everybody said, well, you know, look, let me know after 90 days if you're still involved well, then maybe this is different than everything else that you've ever done because that was my average was 90 days in everything that I'd ever done. So it's the same redemption story there. If you hadn't have, you know, let me give you a great example. A homemaker devotes their entire life to raising their children and taking care of the household. Working harder, it's statistically proven, working harder than corporate executives. And... They're loved by their family, they're loved by their friends, but they're not necessarily respected in business. So sometimes that person doesn't get the, the early reward. But the same redemption story is true here. If you work on your skills, if you work on your leadership abilities, if you develop yourself, if you develop your own posture through the activities and through learning and through skills and through getting small victories and developing them into bigger and bigger victories, then you can become something where people say, well, gosh, if they can do it, then I can do it too. You know what my big goal was when I was 22? I said, you know what, if I really commit myself by 25, I can be a whiz kid. You know, nobody wants to listen to the 22-year-old with 18 jobs, but if I can turn a corner and get some success, then I could be the 25-year-old who had 18 jobs and totally turned everything around and get around this kid because everything he touches turns to gold. That was my motivation. So, uh, like we talked about yesterday, there is a redemption story there, and it's not a redemption for you being a bad person. It's a redemption story of ne not necessarily having the business success that gets people excited. If you uh, if you don't have the business success to get you to get people excited, you can develop that and become that story. You can make yourself a story. If you have had that, it's really great, but it only works for a short period of time. You must make sure that you develop uh, lots of third-party materials and tools and tactics in order to make yourself not the issue. We'll talk more about that in another show. So, um, hope this was valuable for you. Hope it all made sense. Uh, a lot of people were pondering it yesterday. Lots of interesting comments from yesterday's show. Um, we're going to continue to talk about these different issues as far as getting excited and having a breakthrough over the course of the next couple weeks. But everybody, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro because it is a stone-cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's tell the world. Everybody have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.